Thank you, Drew. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking the time out of this interesting meeting to, uh, to allow me to introduce to you Caladrius Biosciences. I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to, to do so. Like many of the public companies that are presenting here today, I'll just remind you that I will be making some forward-looking statements. And if anyone here is intending on making any investment decisions, please do keep that in mind. So as an overview, Caladrius operates in what we believe is a relatively unique and interesting mixed model. On the one hand, we operate through our PCT subsidiary, one of the leading cell therapy development and manufacturing partnering organizations uh, that is in partnership with Hitachi out of Japan, creating a global network of cell and cell-based gene therapy manufacturing uh, expertise. And I'll go into some of the details about the positive attributes of, of PCT in, in a few moments. On the other side of our business, we operate a select therapeutics development arm, which is really focused on bringing forward positively disruptive therapies using cell and cell-based gene therapies. And even though this is not necessarily an investment-oriented uh, audience, there are a number of attributes about our company that I think really lead to uh, a great deal of attractiveness from an investment perspective. So let's start with, with PCT. Uh, PCT is a comprehensive contract development and manufacturing company focused in the area of cell and cell-based gene therapy. It offers all of the skill sets, expertise, services that you see listed on this slide. Many of these are the things that would be typically associated with the CMC section in traditional pharmaceutical development, including everything from uh, process and formulation development, characterization, uh, analytical controls, uh, then scale up to manufacturing, clinical manufacturing, and ultimately technology transfer and commercial manufacturing, including process optimization and automation. But in the area of cell therapy, as this audience certainly well knows, it is a much more complicated set of endeavors than it is with typical small molecules because we're often handling living cells that have very specific handling attributes that must be kept alive. And they're frequently autologous in nature, meaning that the logistics of taking the source and returning the product to the source is simply uh, complex. And it's something PCT has mastered over the years. We have a very deep client list. We're very fortunate that a number of our clients allow us to announce our associations. There are many others who prefer to keep their association with a CDMO uh, as a, uh, a confidential matter. But what's important to recognize is that many of our clients depend upon PCT almost entirely for their development and clinical manufacturing. And as such, we play a great role in advancing many of the therapies that are considered at the forefront of immuno-oncology and immunotherapy today. We also have the great fortune that a number of our clients are expected to be in the next wave of cell therapy products that are due to be commercialized. And it's hopeful and perhaps even likely that some number of them will convert their clinical relationship with PCT into a commercial contract leading to what we hope will be a, a major inflection point in the growth rate for our subsidiary. Uh, PCT has been around for more than 17 years. It's one of the few contract organizations in this area that is solely dedicated to this. We, we, we make no pretense to try to do small molecules or monoclonals or anything else. We're really specialized in cell and cell-based gene therapy. During that period of time, we've serviced more than 100 different company and academic clients, produced more than 20,000 different products, and treated more than 6,000 patients. Uh, we operate two facilities here in the United States. The flagship facility is on the East Coast in Allendale, New Jersey, recently completing uh, a major expansion. Uh, it is now capable of producing product that is compliant with both US and EU uh, regulations and actually has the infrastructure and capacity to be the launch site for at least one commercial product. Our sister facility in Mountain View, California is really dedicated at the moment to clinical manufacturing and early stage development but does offer all of the same services and expertise that one finds in Allendale. And we really provide a complete development pathway for our clients. It's more than a fee-for-service 
it's a strategic collaboration. We can take a product from the early stages of cell therapy concept, generally in an academic setting, and move that from academia into a setting that allows for IND enabling studies, ultimately the entrance into man, and then scale up all the way through to commercialization. What really is another great benefit of PCT is the experience that they have gathered over the course of the last 20 years allows us to counsel our clients on when it's appropriate to make the major investments in process optimization and automation. Doing that too early in clinical development often can be a waste of time and money since many products get altered or simply don't advance to the next stage of clinical development. Doing it too late in development doesn't allow time for the appropriate comparative studies and the comparability uh, work that needs to be done and filed with the regulatory agencies to allow you to actually avail yourself of those new developments as part of your clinical launch. So it's really another great service that PCT provides. Back in March of this year, we announced a strategic global collaboration with Hitachi Group, which actually through the U.S. subsidiary of Hitachi Chemical, in which we've created what we believe is the footprint for the first truly global cell and cell-based gene therapy contract development and manufacturing organization. This was a, a, a great transaction for our company and one that we believe provides a great deal of potential for our clients and for our shareholders. Back in March, Hitachi purchased about 20% of the PCT subsidiary for about $20 million, leading to a, a post-money valuation on PCT of over $100 million. At the same time, we signed a licensing agreement that allowed us to transfer to them know-how and certain systems and processes, which would become the foundation for Hitachi PCT, a sister organization which will function throughout Asia and from which, in the long run, we will derive royalties uh, based on revenues. And so it's a, a great economic deal for us, a deal that allows for the beginnings of seamless transfer of technology and product from one region into the next as companies naturally expand their regulatory filings. And it gives us access to thousands of engineers within the Hitachi Group to augment our already great prowess in process optimization and automation and should allow us to advance even more rapidly from the current clean room environment to what Bob Preddy, our president of PCT, often refers to as the factory of the future, where we'll be hopefully processing most of these products in enclosed systems in less classified environments. So as our base business, we fully rely on PCT. It's growing at a rate of more than 25% a year in revenues. This year, the revenue projection is greater than 30%, reaching approximately $30 million by the end of the year. Uh, we provide product documentation data to the industry. In return, we, we see revenues and profits. But on top of that, we have a select therapeutics development business. And here, what we do, what we look for disruptive technologies that we believe we can bring generally from an early stage up through proof of concept in man with the idea that at that point in time they will either be partnered or licensed out and in so doing securing the manufacturing uh, long-term contracts for PCT, but a way to further enhance our shareholder value. And for the time being, our focus is in the area of immune modulation, specifically type 1 diabetes, with a T regulatory cell technology that fits the profile of our select development candidates perfectly. It comes from renowned sources, specifically out of Carl June's lab at, uh, at the University of Pennsylvania and Jeff Bluestone's lab at UCSF. We have a strong global IP portfolio that, that protects this process and this product for us across multiple indications um, globally. Uh, we are the first therapy to our knowledge that has been granted fast track designation for a type 1 diabetes program and we've also received FDA orphan drug designation along with the advanced therapeutic medicinal product classification in Europe which is a, a similar type uh, process. We are in phase two, an ongoing phase two proof of concept study which I'll describe in a moment. PCT has actually taken the process out of the academic labs, optimized it, 
made it into a GMP and, and the beginnings of a commercially viable process. And it's become the basis of a strategic collaboration with Sanford Research out of Sioux Falls, the same Sanford that is uh, sponsoring uh, some of the work that's done out here at Scripps. So we're really looking at trying to develop a therapy that will be disease altering in the area of type 1 diabetes. I won't go through all the background on, on T1D. I think you know it's a, a terribly debilitating disease for which there's really no curative treatment at the time. The prevalence continues to grow at a relatively stable rate. And it really seems to be based upon the simple fact that there are insufficient numbers or insufficiently potent T regulatory cells in many of these patients. So our goal here is to, using a relatively straightforward process to, uh, beginning with a blood draw, to extract T regulatory cells from an afflicted patient, to expand them, activate them, and return them back to that patient in an autologous uh, therapy, restoring the balance between T regulatory and T effector cells and minimizing the symptoms of the disease and perhaps even eliminating them in the long term. The therapy is based upon some interesting phase one work that was published, uh, an adult study published under the auspices of uh, Jeff Bluestone and his team here in the United States, and then a study published in, in Europe based upon a pediatric uh, open label trial. In both cases, we were able to show that the autologous therapy was very well tolerated, as one might expect. In the case of the adult trial, we labeled the cells and were able to determine that there's the likelihood of a durable effect, being able to measure cells a year after the, the initial in infusion. And from a very exciting perspective, in the open label pediatric study in Europe, we were able to demonstrate that those patients who received treatment actually saw a much reduced progression of the disease over the course of a year, with a number of the children seeing a great reduction in their need for external insulin, and at least two of them going off insulin entirely. So really the indications of an early a dramatic effect. That's led us to the T-Rex study, which is being done in conjunction with the, the Sanford Research Group. It was initiated back in March of this year. It is a big pharma-like trial in its rigor. Double blind, placebo controlled, randomized, several doses using standard medical and regulatory endpoints focused on the target population and with a patient size and an approximation of powering that should give us a strong indication of whether a therapeutic effect is actually likely with this therapy. Uh, we have divided the enrollment of 111 patients into two cohorts. The first 18 patient cohort has been completely enrolled, and we're anticipating a DSMB safety analysis sometime during the fourth quarter of this year, which will then lead to re-enrollment of the second cohort with the idea of reaching an interim analysis of therapeutic effects sometime before the end of next year with a 12-month follow-up being the primary endpoint which should occur in 2018. It's a study that has been enrolling very rapidly and for which there is a great deal of enthusiasm. It looks like we will only need to open studies in the United States to complete enrollment. And what's very interesting to us on top of the potential in type 1 diabetes is the fact that this same approach can be applied across a variety of other autoimmune diseases, several of which are listed here on this slide, many of which don't have curative treatments and many of which represent markets that are enormous globally, really making for a multi-billion dollar life cycle opportunity. We also have a number of additional platforms that the company has developed and is now uh, partnering. Our CD34 platform uh, has been partnered in the area of heart failure and AMI in, in India, but we're in the process of taking advantage of the new regenerative medicine law in Japan to launch a phase two in critical limb ischemia. We, in fact, have a protocol that has been negotiated with the Japanese regulatory authorities, a site of manufacturing in Kobe that's ready to go, investigators lined up in, 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 you know, in simple jargon. This is a program that is gift wrapped with a bow on it waiting for a partner and the, the cost of the trial is relatively small and it could lead to early conditional approval in Japan in the area of CLI and so it's something that we're looking forward to consummating a partnership on in the very near future. We're also talking to, to others about other applications of our CD34 technology. 
a strong management team. I won't take the time this morning to go into our backgrounds, except that you know, collectively, um, we're a bit shy to mention that we have a probably about more than 120 years of combined experience that makes us old, but it also means that we've seen a lot in the, in the industry and can bring that experience to bear on our own products and our own uh, subsidiaries. We're looking forward to using this team to continue to develop our products and to grow PCT in the future. So with that, I think I have about 15 seconds left. I'll thank you for your, your time and interest this morning. And I don't know if we have time for questions here, but if not, I'll step outside uh, and we can have questions then. But thank you again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.